everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, it took him just over a year on the UFC roster to realize a piece of this UFC middleweight championship. He is the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, a guy you tried to bring in to emulate John Jones back in the day. Absolutely. You knew right away when you watched Israel fight that he has an ability to fight so many different ways. If he's coming to play a part, he's going to play that part better than anyone else you can find. Yeah. It's because of the adaptability. It's his ability to change the way that he's fighting based on his opponent. In the Derek Brunson fight, he did a lot of need because he knew Brunson was going to wrestle him. But in the fight against Kelvin Gastelum, it was a lot of punches and kicks because the wrestling threat was not so great. you got to have that if you hope to compete and stay atop your division for a long time. All right, so here he is representing the American Kickboxing Academy, the inimitable Khabib Nurmagomedov. And this guy makes his way to the Octagon DC. You run out of time setting up everything he's accomplished, but he always puts that status as an undefeated fighter and UFC champion on the line. He will do so again here today. The moment he walked into AKA, you understood that there was something special about Nurmagomedov. He was a guy that was always listening, although he spoke no English. He was always listening and paying attention to try to learn and how to improve himself. And the moment he stepped foot in the gym, he was just open to each and every lesson and knowledge showing over the course of his UFC career. He was undefeated going into the UFC and he has only built on that and become a champion, one of the most well-rounded fighters in all of the UFC. You know, your college wrestling teammates have told me when you showed up at Oklahoma State, you didn't speak English either. No, I didn't. It was all, <laughs> it was all Southern Creole accent. It was all, it was all, hey, my boy. <laughs> right. Well, your English is now very proper, and so is Khabib's, and he's back on the proven ground here tonight, again, trying to prove himself as one of the pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters on this UFC roster. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! And now with his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomeda! All right, Griffin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. 
and they separate. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. He's got him to clinch once again. The hip toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Side control now. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Adesanya. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Adesanya. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, you're good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective. Nurmagomedov's trying to lock up on a submission now. Oh, nice. Might just be a matter of time. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.